because some of y'all need Jesus. <laughs> Listen, I've been watching Pose season 2 for the past 10 days and I think I can vogue. So let me vogue. Hi and welcome back to the Estrella Show. I'm Estrella. I'm still Estrella. I will always be Estrella, I think. No, because there's always that point in time as a YouTuber where you become so big, yeah, that you just reject everything that made you unique and now you suddenly start using your real name and you just kind of lose the essence of everything. I'm scared. I promise that doesn't ha I hope that doesn't happen to me, you know? Because I'll be so sad. Imagine Estrella not being Estrella. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. If you're new and you want to be an Estrellita, which is a fan of the Estrella show, if I'm being real, it's very, very simple. It's not that hard. Some people don't like doing it. I would urge you to do so. You like if you're liking the video, which you are. You comment if you feel cute and you should always be feeling cute so you should always be commenting and then after all that jazz yeah right down there just right down there you hit the subscribe button it's red just hit that hit the bell for the notifications so you don't you don't you're not left out honey because you see i do what i want if i say i'm gonna post four videos in a row i'm gonna do that and if I'm going to take a three-week break, I'm going to do that. And then, I know you already, um, you've probably tapped off the video from being real. <laughs> whilst you're there doing all them things, whilst I'm waffling here, um, you can click in the description. There's some cards about social justice movements in our lives right now. So, we have to tell everybody that Black Lives Matter, including LGBT people, because they seem to forget that. We have to tell people about Yemen, you know, India, <laughs> Free Palestine. So, no long thing, let's get straight into it. So, this is going to be the penultimate episode, I think, of season one. It's a, it's a bit sad for the season to end. Season two will come soon, but I just want to lay Estrella Spice Waffle to rest so I can do other things. Because I feel like people think I'm a rant YouTuber and I'm not just a rant YouTuber. I transcend YouTuber stereotypes and that's on that. I just want to say this once. Being developed is not the same as being Western. And being Western is not being developed. When I say developed, I'm talking about the economic definition of development which is about an increase in living standards it's not about wearing suits no it's just about living standards when we say living standards i mean quality of life are you able to live breathe and do it comfortably and not have to worry about whether you live and breathe comfortably the next day you know do you have access to education do you have access to health care do you have access to a fire service? That's all it is. Is there good transport links in the country, infrastructure? That's all it is. When we say a developed country, I want everybody to remove the stereotype that being a developed country is about being predominantly white. I don't know what that, I don't know what you think this is, okay? But being a developed country is about just the economic development of the country where the money is going it's not about making more money it's not about gdp it's about living standards do living standards actually increase living standards for everyone in the country not just for the rich people who benefit from selling all these goods and services i just want to make that clear what i don't like and what i want to make clear is that i'm not saying that these terms are wrong because they're, they're it's just economics bro <laughs> it's just economic socio-economic this thing nothing more well, i don't like when people just talk about the west and then everything else is just third world countries like what, what are we doing here i don't think i'm making sense but i'm still gonna continue talking because no <laughs> I, I, I won't stand for it which is why i'm sitting down <clears throat> oh if you're not first world then you're just crap like what 
because it's all relative based on what the first world is doing if that, does that make sense because it's like oh first nobody talks about second anymore so there's like first and then you have third so then it's just like the third world just they always seem to be catching up with the first world so anything that's not western is always catching up with the, with the first world if that makes sense and um i don't like that it's basically reinforcing the idea that came from imperialism that you people say that you hate so much the imperialists brought the idea of civilization to these other nations countries and ever since they left these countries have been struggling and they now need to pattern themselves so that they can try and mimic the movements of the first world because apparently what the first world does is the blueprint what does it mean to be civilized just ask yourself deep it what does it mean to be civilized we need to just take away this stupid thing that white is right it's white is not right sometimes it is but guess what black is right sometimes and what is even white and black we've already covered that but what is that who said the white is right who said that the way the the way the Western world does it is right? Because I know I'm not saying that. Because if you deep it even more, the reason why these countries are so developed half the time is artificially through the economic benefits of the slave trade. Let's look at America. If you're not like a political um, international relation type person, there's an idea of world order. So there's just a natural shift in power between different states and countries over time. And it's kind of like comparative absolute advantage if you do economics, where it's just whoever is doing it best is just going to be in power for the, for the, for the time being. You no, know, Britain used to run the world at some point. And now it's kind of America because of slavery. And then now China's rising up just... Britain's position as a dominating superpower just like America was off the backs of other countries and their resources but through that purely economically we can see that they benefited from higher living standards so now there's this association made of these white people being developed but their development is as a result of taking advantage off of other countries and then they are seen as undeveloped I, 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 and i don't get it i i i, I don't get it I, I don't and then what hurts me even more is that now there's this sentiment especially among these countries that are underdeveloped economically that to progress we now have to do it the white way not the right way but the white way what is the white way so do you do you genuinely believe that all um the countries that are underdeveloped shall now come and do imperialism elsewhere is that what we have to do that's how they did it i don't understand you people need to start behaving now development is not about the way you do things the way of life the way the the british or the way the americans do life is not the blueprint it's what's popular but it's not the blueprint it's not the only way to make success because you need to understand that even though these countries are developed economically their development in terms of like social development no one is saying that america and the uk is good are oh, you seeing what's going on in these countries the corruption the institutional disting the political disting there's multiple problems in the western world okay but this development rhetoric that you people like to carry also it kind of washes away the sins of the western world because they're seen as developed like they've done the developing they're good they have nowhere to grow and improve on it's only the other countries but baby we all need to improve we all need to do better so what's your point i don't get it i don't get it it's sad because for example for me you guys need to understand that um i don't know if i alluded to it before but i am nigerian but i'm not part of the major ethnic groups but i do know in my villages um part of our culture is so, it's so derivative off of 
the Victorian English peoples. I think it's Boulder or Boba, something stupid like that. Um, them hats, them short hats, they wear those, them cap things, they wear those. They tie a native wrapper and then they come and uh, walk around with walking stick and put, um, ch we call it chain stick, put chain stick, but you people call it, um, yeah, I don't know what the proper word for it is, but you know the sticks that you put cocktails on? Yeah, we call that chewing stick because in the village, like, there's some sticks that we use that um, helps your teeth actually become white because you just sit, chew it. Like, the way that, hey, I, I know you guys are thinking, oh, she's so uncivilized, but, like, we even add to this rhetoric. Like, I don't want to talk too tough on it because I'm just going to get angry, but... You know this Beyonce, yeah, listen, yeah, I, I, I always try not to talk about Beyonce because you people put her, when I say put her on the pedestal, people actually worship Beyonce. You need to understand that sis is African-American, all right? So when she comes and she does um, Lion King, the gift, and she wants to do Black King, it depends on like the situation obviously so sometimes it's more about how we receive it not we not me but sometimes it's about how it's received sometimes it's about how it's marketed but sometimes when she does like activist music whatever that means and she starts talking about like africa it's just a miss they're trying to put africa into the black label and not put black into africa so i feel like um especially as a child of um my parents aren't immigrants the majority of their childhood was spent in nigeria and then um after marriage they moved i don't know whether me and my brother are third generation or second generation as being in this position of course we have a little bit of a different world view because we have a lot of British culture in us and we also have a lot of Nigerian culture in us and I feel like for the use of the diaspora of African countries not the black diaspora as a whole but anybody's parents was born in Congo lived in Congo and then came over here and had you or was born in Kenya raised in Kenya came over here had you born in Nigeria raised in Nigeria came over here had you I feel like the youth of these parents we often kind of like look down on our countries and therefore africa as a whole because africa is not a country okay we often have the lens of the western media like it depends on you personally but what we see is through the lens of the western media and we always see the wala the problems oh south africans are killing nigerians we're seeing oh problems in congo we see oh problems in Boko Haram. we just see problem we see problem we see problem and we're just like the white man has come and done divide and conquer all i want to say what i've been trying to say for the past few minutes development is not to do with how white you are so when we look back on our native countries whether that be nigeria or tanzania or zimbabwe whether that because i feel like i'm leaving out um, other countries, whether that be um, Venezuela or um, Peru or Guyana or Uruguay or Paraguay, all of them man there, Nicaragua. When we talk about our home countries, it's really easy for us to look down on them, say, oh, they don't know how to organize and do stuff properly, Lord knows food, all of this jazz. Baby girl, the countries that you hold so high up on the pedestal, these Western countries, they do the same, okay? They do the same. It's just because you're living in the country and the media isn't giving you the real story like that, like that. But I want to promise you that everyone in this world is tapped and everyone in this world is slightly corrupt. So don't start thinking that because these countries are more economically developed, they have better access to healthcare, better education than these other countries don't start associating that advantage with them literally being better you can actually go to your home countries and deep hmm, what do we need to do to improve and how can we do it our way 
even with aid i don't like this idea that same types of people that um that came and colonized these um states nations countries want to come back after there's a bunch of human rights abuses you suddenly you feel concerned now you want to come back and you want to solve the problem your way sorry sorry why do you think your way is best why are we thinking about the literal context of the country and think about how we can find the right solution that is tailor-made for this country there's so much diversity within one country it's so rude to me it's rude to come and collate them together as one and say let's celebrate them all i'll go back to the beyonce thing like granted okay she did something that something is not right it's not she's presenting us as what we're not she's focusing on our ancestral roots and even when she does the ancestral roots it's hard for her to do it justice because we're so clear there's so much to cover that you can't even do the ancestral routing properly yeah okay and then even when you focus on that you're still you're still underrepresenting the young nigerians of today the young rwandans of today i don't want to talk about this again i don't really want to i'm gonna stop engaging in conversations with people who think like this there are many many problems in this world don't ever be confused and deceived by western propaganda that's what it is it's propaganda that being a first world country means you have zero problems being a third world country means you have a lot of problems and you have to mimic the ways of the first world countries to you know do better don't let these people run up in a place give you a loan and run away that's not gonna solve anything even if you use that money well that money is still owed back you still owe it and if you default then it's long let us have a mind of self-reflection let's start thinking what are who are we i don't believe that the teenagers in cameroon think that they're all spiritual kings and queens some of them is in their ancestral roots but they have a way of life that the media and even us as a people apart from the diaspora we don't really recognize unless you visit your countries a lot then you, you kind of know the vibe but village culture like day-to-day -day life of african teenagers and africans that are in their 20s they tend to be underrepresented and what i feel is that it creates a cycle because now these people they look to american culture they look to american culture and build their identity off of american culture and then and then you start to build a self-hate complex or things that are quintessential to be a nigerian or the things that are quintessential to be a ghanaian should be refuted because it's not americanized or it's not african americanized as well because white is right and western is correct geography should be compulsory in america because them people did it they think the eiffel towers in london bro we will make a way for change the countries that are currently less developed underdeveloped in terms of economics the only way for them to develop and continue to develop in a desirable way is to look at our strengths and weaknesses analyze and move in a step towards taking advantage of those strengths okay let's have that focus and let's be unapologetic about our strengths and let us be unapologetic about our culture like the national identity because i'll say it again we shouldn't be putting africa in into the idea of being black because africa itself is very very diverse 
we should be adding the idea of black into Africa because I want you to understand and realize that Africa came before being this black thing. Same with the South America peoples, you being Hispanic or being Latin American, that was after your nation's cultural history. So don't make your nation's cultural history second best to this label that was made up. No, she shouldn't have to. She shouldn't have to be singing about this stuff. But if she is, um, not every single African is Oshun. We don't even get um the side of the 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 Africans that are Muslim, Africans that are um Christian. You're just giving us spiritual distance. I hope you understand. The problem with all of this is that they don't see us as people. These are white people with their old men mentalities. These African Americans that look down on the Black British and the um, Africans still living in Africa and everything else. They don't see us as people. And because they don't see us as people like them, they, they're not recognising the common thread. They're not recognising that like you there's a cultural history there's a cultural history in african americans and there are several different types of cultural history in africa but because there's no recognition of that which understandable is not their fault because they were taken from africa thrown in america and said mm, you're black you have no identity i get that there's like a blank space when it comes to africa but i feel like as Africans or children of African immigrants or children of just African parents, you should um, recognise that there's this space for, we should show them that we have cultural history. Did you see the way they ate up, um, see the way they ate up sh shaku shaku? See the way that they ate, ate up shoki? You know, do you remember when Rihanna was performing Wild Thoughts and she did that South African South African dance move and everyone went crazy? They see us, but we need to we need to show them. I hope this video makes sense because it does. Make sure that you like, yep, comment, mm -hmm. subscribe to my channel. Be blessed, don't stress. 2019 to be disappointed. You know the bloody vibe. Let's try that out. There's no signal.com. Let's try like that. Let's try like this. I really cannot miss. If you don't agree, you're gonna get the fist. Honestly, you get the gist. Bye bye. It's okay now. You can go free me from this bondage. Fix it, Jesus.